break a leg. The Australians, good to see them bringing such a big team. They're anchored home by Morgan Mitchell, this year's Australian champion over 400 metres. Poland. How goes that to Holbub? Goes lead leg for them, and Swiety brings them home, last year's Polish champion. The United States, what a team. Didi Trotter, Sanya Richards-Ross, Monica Hargrove and Jessica Beard. Sanya Richards-Ross has indicated Rio might perhaps be her swan song in terms of athletics. Great Britain, Ailey Child going lead leg. Shana Cox, Emily Diamond and Margaret Adioye. And listen to the reception for the Jamaicans. You could be forgiven for thinking it was a Bahamian quartet. Kylie Spencer, good to see her coming back to something like the form that brought her so many great wins on the Diamond League circuit in 400 meter hurdles. Really unlucky in the major championships. Fourth in Berlin and in Daegu. So Spencer will anchor the Jamaicans, but what a quartet from the United States. Well, they run, what is it? They've won the last six Olympic Games. The American women, so their tradition is there, isn't it? You can't get any better than that. And I think this being the inaugural relay championships, they want to come out and prove a point, I think. Well, they've certainly got a very strong and experienced squad here with uh, Didi Trotter, Sanya Richards-Ross, who's won, of course, countless uh, relay medals, as well as uh, individual Olympic gold. And then uh, Hargrove and Beard, a lot of medals between that squad. Britain have got a good squad too, led off by Ailey Child, 400 hurdler, but uh, good record on the flat as well. European indoor silver last year. And then we have Jamaica, and again, another good, strong team, led off by Christine Day, the Olympic bronze medalist at the relay. We'll hand over to Anastasia Leroy and then Sharika Jackson, the World Youth Bronze Medalist. And then Kelly Spencer, best known as a 400 meter hurdler, but again, a very strong relay runner as well. Fourth in the two World Championship 4x400, uh, 400 meter hurdles, rather. So, runners uh, getting ready. No one is more experienced in this race than Sanya Richards, of course. to see how fit she is she has come out and run a, a 51 and a half uh, 400 meters because uh, she's got more sub 50 second clockings to her credit than any other runner in history do you think she might as we uh, watch the jamaicans then bring up do you think sanya richards ross might pack up after rio she was talking about her husband being <laughs> patiently waiting for children yeah well that's quite a long way away isn't it rio i mean that then you know she's she's been going for a decade anyway yeah i, I mean possibly she's talking of starting a family then but she did say after that well i come back after that so uh, she loves running which is great so the united states of america going in lane five here that's third from the inside lanes one and two not used six nations in this very strong heat just seen the Nigerians win the first heat in 3.27.07 and then the next uh, three teams running just outside 3.30. Certainly several of these squads capable of getting fairly well under 3.30. World Championships last year, Russia were the champions but then USA were second, Britain were fourth. Jamaica were the uh, runners-up in the world in uh, 2011 and also third in the Olympics Jamaica Great Britain United States Poland Australia and France that's the composition of heat two of the women's four by 400 meters is IF world relays leading off France Marie Gayo European four by four silver got a lot of members of that squad here we pan in from the outside across Australia then Poland, who are led off by Malgarata Holub. Then the United States, D.D. Trotter, the Olympic bronze medalist. And Great Britain with Ailey Child, European indoor silver medalist. World Championship finalist for four the hurdles. And then you support for Jamaica, who are led off by Christine Day. 
It's the first three who will qualify for the final, and then two more teams on time. On your mark. So they take to their marks for heat two. Jamaica, Great Britain, United States, Poland, Australia, and France. Didi Trotter leads off the United States in lane five, already in good form this year. Strong start by the by Australia, particularly a notable in uh, lane seven. Amy Child goes for Great Britain between those uh, countries. And also going well on the inside, we've got uh, Jamaica. So 200 meters to go. And a fairly restrained start by Trotter. That's uh, a really outstanding start by the young Australian. Um, Annelise Ruby, the Australian silver medalist this year, but she's been cut down now by Poland inside, and now here comes Didi Trotter in the red of USA. Child not showing so strongly for Britain, and coming up to this first takeover, it's going to be the Americans, I think, probably just in the lead. A really good leg, though, for the Australians. Yes, USA first, then it's Jamaica in second place, and then right on the outside, the French. Richard Ross going really well for the USA, also doing out very hard for Jamaica is Anastasia Leroy and look at the stagger that she has eaten up and as the athletes break it is Leroy for Jamaica, the 2013 World Student Games bronze medalist who has taken out a lead on the reigning Olympic champion. Richard Ross though, so much experience, poised and just sitting on her shoulder and will Leroy pay for going out too hard, too quickly, that's the battle for second, third and fourth. Poland in third place at the moment, but it was observed Richard Ross flipped the switch and went into overdrive. She's now going away down this home straight. Leroy fading badly for Jamaica. Coming up hard for Great Britain is Shayna Cox. Safe changeover for the USA. They get away in first. Jamaica second. Great Britain third. Hargrave now for the United States with a 10 meter lead over Jamaica. Great Britain chasing hard behind them. But the lead now stretching. Hargrave, a member of that World Championship gold medal team back in 2013. Looks very comfortable indeed. Just behind her, Kelly Spencer. Just holding that lead now of about to two or three metres from the Great Britain team of Diamond. America looking so comfortable, really. Very relaxed. Monica Hargrove working hard. The Jamaican team trying their best with the crowd, trying to get behind them to lift them. Remember, this is a heat and the gap is closing. Jamaica now with Sharika, sorry, with Kalu Spencer coming, no, Jackson coming hard. It's doing a great job, bringing it down to just two metres or so. On to the anchor leg then. Jessica Beard for the United States. It's not as big a lead as was generated by Sanya Richards-Ross. Kalu Spencer, the brilliant 400 metre hurdler on second leg for the Jamaicans and it's Margaret Adeoye who's in third place for Great Britain at the moment but she needs to watch out because Justina Spitey of Poland is closing only the first three as of right guaranteed to go through to the final Jessica Beard has this under control at the moment Khalees Spencer is starting to close that's why the crowd are responding Adeoye is in third place at the moment but Spitey is doing all she can to get back in the mix. A brilliant second leg by Sanya Richards-Ross has made the difference, you could argue. Jessica Beard brings the Americans home in front. Jamaica second, and Adioye just, just holding on from Justina Svaiti for the third automatic spot. Poland will have to wait to see if they...